How do you explain what is it like to hike, to walk among mountains and what you can get out of it, especially when you do that for more than just one day? When you've got views like these. And when you walk down trails as beautiful as these. How do you explain that? And I was talking about that just now with my friend that I'm hiking with today. And I'll try to give you a good impression, to give you an idea of what it is like to hike among mountains and what the benefits are, what the joy of it is that it brings you. There is of course the physical aspect of knowing that you've accomplished something that you perhaps didn't know you were capable of. That, in, that long climb that you managed or that long descent or the fear that you conquered when you were looking at a passage you didn't think you were capable of crossing. And with a little bit of deliberation and thinking about how you were going to do it or maybe with a little bit of help from, from, from some friends, from me, from fellow hikers, from fellow participants, you managed to pass that passage. And then there is the mental aspect of it. Again, that bit about being able, showing yourself you're able to do something that you didn't think yourself uh, capable of. But also the fact that you have to concentrate on what you're doing physically. And um, And then, the, like, like I was saying, I'm just distracted by the view here. Let me see if I can show you. Look at this. So also the, the fact that you have to concentrate on what you're doing and that, you, that that part, that active part of your brain is focused on that and every, everything else that part of your brain that you usually don't use. You can, uh, that starts working and you find solutions to problems you didn't know you were trying to solve. And you find ideas you didn't know were going around in your head. And then it's just Moments like these, when you come up to a waterfall where it's just beautiful. And you get to see that. You get to see that oftentimes just by yourself or in that small group where you're, that you're a part of. Wow, look at this. Look at these. Aren't they beautiful? So... It's just the joy of seeing these beautiful landscapes that you otherwise wouldn't get to see. You, you get to places where you otherwise wouldn't go. You just get to see views you otherwise wouldn't get to see. And we stay in the most beautiful places in basic mountain inns, mountain cabins. You know, you find a bed there, somebody's cooking for you, but it's not. The luxury is not in where you're staying. The luxury is in the landscape that you're traveling through, that you're hiking through. I'm going to have to take... I have to pause this because I have to cross this. And I have to concentrate while I'm doing that. So I'll be back. I'm back. So when I'm talking about luxuriating, 
I'm not talking about five-star accommodation. I may not even be talking about three-star accommodation. I'm talking about luxuriating in the landscape that you're spending time in. Being part of it. Reconnecting with it. And as you're reconnecting with it, you're also reconnecting with yourself. It's when you come home, when you come back after this experience. You don't just bring back moments that you can always go back to, that you can bring back into mind and, and revel in and enjoy. You also bring back a confidence in yourself and in your abilities that you didn't know you had. And with that confidence, you know you're able to do things you didn't know you had in you, you didn't know you could. And even this, this description, it doesn't do it justice, I'm sorry, it doesn't. It is something you have to experience. Look at this, look at this. Alpenrose are coming into bloom. I know it's on tomorrow. As I'm recording this, it's the 20th of June, I think. So tomorrow is the longest day. The official start of summer, but here in the mountains, spring has just about started. It is a great time to be among mountains. Now, it's too early in the year to be hiking from mountain into mountain in. Too much snow as you could just see just now. Still up there. But in September, you have a chance to join me in landscape like this, to luxuriate in landscape like this, to experience what it is like to go above and beyond of what you think you're capable of. To luxuriate in landscapes like these. I look forward to it and I would love it if you were to join me on one of those week-long treks. Go to daregreatlycoaching.com to find out what it is like to find out more and uh, if you think it's something for you, apply. If you think looks great but not for me, also good. Enjoy just the images, the video and uh, maybe we'll meet in some other place and at some other time. As always, go there greatly. Yep, back again. I just thought of something else because I see my friend I don't know if you look at that man at that uh, cabin down there you can see a small figure moving through the landscape it looks really small doesn't it that's another thing that moving through the mountains brings you it makes you aware of how insignificant we really are. We're moving through landscape that's been here for millions of years and will be here long after we're gone. And there's something else I just thought of. It's also this landscape, the landscape we're moving through, the the lakes we're passing by, the the the, the, the brooks that we stop by uh, we take our shoes, socks off, our shoes off and put our feet in. It is an invitation to play. It is an invitation to connect, reconnect with our inner child. And let, uh, let it come out. I always, it's always funny to me. Because people look at me when I'm whistling on a piece of grass or using a, gra a grass helm as a, I think you call it, trumpeting to trumpet or build a dam. 
I love doing that kind of stuff. And in the beginning, they're like a bit woo woo. But at some point, they join me. And then it becomes fun. And we sing. This is Sound of Music Country after all. So it is an invitation to to let the joy that is within you come out. Maybe not on the first day, maybe not even on the second, but by the third day, you might even be yodeling. That one didn't go well. <laughs> Enjoy. As always, go there greatly.